Damien Dinning, I'm the Lead Program Manager for Imaging Experience at Nokia for Smart Devices. Um, I've uh, introduced today the Nokia PureView uh, 808. Um, and this is a, a revolutionary device in uh, mobile imaging. Um, the reason why it's a, a revolution is because um, I guess what a lot of people will be talking about is the, the high resolution sensor that we have today. And a lot of people will be uh, associating the revolution with the number of megapixels, but for us the revolution is not the number of megapixels, but actually how we're putting those megapixels to use. Um, so a couple of things that we had to do to be able to make this happen. Um, first of all, very high resolution sensor obviously as said. Um, you can't just go and get one of those off the shelf though. We had to co-develop that uh, according to our own uh, exact specifications. Um, we also had to work directly with Carl Zeiss um, to make a breakthrough in optics uh, to get to fully realize the uh, resolving power that the sensor provides to be able to do the zoom that we wanted to be able to provide. Um, we need precision optics which is 10 times greater than in traditional SLR lenses. Um, so that was the second area. The third area was in terms of how we be, are able to handle all those pixels. So as an example, when recording full 1080 uh, video, uh, we're processing, uh, sorry, we're handling over uh, 1 billion pixels per second. Um, and how we do that is we have uh, a 1.3 gigahertz single core CPU, uh, which is really great for long battery life. Um, but that's supplemented by a dedicated GPU, uh, which handles the image processing. But that's also supplemented by a scaling chip, uh, which resides in our camera module, um, which means that the GPU isn't having to, to crunch all those numbers on its own. And that's what it gives you that image processing capability. Now, by putting all these things together, what we've been able to do is two significant breakthroughs. First of all, we've been able to capture five megapixel images, which have detail which is way beyond what you can see from any other camera smartphone, um, whichever measure you use by, by a long way. Um, that's the first breakthrough. Um, in addition to that, I should add, those files, uh, in addition to being five megapixels, are around about one megabyte. So they're really easy. Uh, fast to share. Um, it's kind of crazy that a 5 megapixel image, which is only a megabyte, can actually resolve the amount of detail that you see in our images. And there's a whole host of them are already available on Flickr for people to, to, to view and download and scrutinize. And I'm sure people who see those will agree there's an astonishing amount of detail captured in those images. Now, what we then do is we have a series of uh, processing algorithms which allow us to oversample those pixels because you don't want to take necessarily pictures which have so many pixels in because the file size is big, becomes unwieldy to, uh, unwieldy to, to be able to do anything with. So through uh, some Nokia developed algorithms, we're able to take seven up to seven pixels and process those down to a single perfect pixel. We retain all of the detail information from those seven pixels, but we throw away the information you don't want, which is like the visual noise, for example. So in good lighting conditions, you get very clean um, images with lots of detail. And that's what helps the JPEG compression to give you that efficiency, so you, hence you only get about a megabyte um, file, which as I said, very easy to, to share. In addition to that, the high resolution sensor allows us to do uh, zoom up to three times in stills in the default settings. You can extend that with lower resolution settings if you want. So if you only ever upload images to Facebook, for example, it makes it more efficient. Or uh, in video, full HD, four times zoom, or in 720, which may be more than enough for most people, that gives you six times lossless zoom. There's no upscaling whatsoever. Um, we're just purely using the resolving capability that the sensor provides us. So there's no conventional digital zoom, uh, no upscaling whatsoever in any part of this product. We've completely removed all uh, remnants of digital zoom uh, from this device. And that gives us incredible quality with zoom, which you haven't been able to, to have in a smartphone uh, before. Um, and based on the, uh, the, imp the desire that, that we've seen in the marketplace for, for people to have that capability, low light performance, 
high image quality, easy to share files, plus this incredible high quality zoom. Um, getting great feedback in terms of that combination, what it brings uh, in terms of uh, smartphone capability.